He that believeth not is condemned already. Because you steal, lie, smoke, drink, commit adultery, that isn't sin. That's the attributes of sin. You do that because you don't believe. And you are true and honest and just and upright and holy and respectable, not because that isn't Christianity. You do that. That's just the fruits of Christianity because you believe it's the attributes of your faith in Christ Jesus and your birth as His Son. Amen. Amen. Good morning. It is September 21st, 2024. Now here is Brother Joseph Branham with the fruits of Christianity because he is a believer and his attributes show his faith in Christ Jesus manifested through the seventh angel messenger, the living word for our day, Brother William Branham. Reading now, the eagles are gathering together letter from the Branham Tabernacle. Dear attribute of God, we are the very attribute of our Heavenly Father, for we were in Him at the beginning. We don't remember it now, but we were there with Him, and He knew us. He loved us so much that He made us flesh, so He could contact us, speak with us, love us, even shake our hands. But Satan came along and perverted God's original word, his kingdom, and his plan for us. He twisted men and women and succeeded in perverting and taking over this world we live in. He has made the earth his kingdom, his garden of Eden. It is the most deceitful and treacherous hour there has ever been. The devil has set every cunning trap that he can, for he is the great deceiver. The Christian has to be more on his toes today than he ever was in any age. But at the same time, it is the most glorious of all the ages, because we are facing the great millennium. Our Garden of Eden is soon coming where we'll have perfect love and perfect understanding of the love of God. We will be alive and safe with Him in our Eden throughout eternity. Jesus told us in Matthew 24 how careful we must be in this day. He warned us that it would be the most deceitful day that ever lived, so close that it would deceive the very elected of God if it were possible. For the cunningness of the devil will make the people believe that they are a Christian when they're not. But this age would also yield his pure word bride that would not and could not be deceived, for they would stay with his original word. Like Joshua and Caleb, our promised land is coming in sight even as theirs did. Our prophet said, Joshua means Jehovah's Savior. He represented the end time leader that will come to the church, even as Paul came as the original leader. Caleb represented those that stayed true with Joshua. Like the children of Israel, God started them out as a virgin with his word. But they wanted something different. Our prophet said, So does this last day church. So God did not let Israel go into the promised land until it was his own appointed time. People put pressure on Joshua, their God-given leader, and said, The land is ours. Let's go and take it, Joshua. You are all through. You must have lost your commission. You don't have the power you used to have. You used to hear from God and know the will of God and act quickly. Something is wrong with you. 
Joshua was God's sent prophet, and he knew the promises of God. Our prophet told us. God placed a full leadership in Joshua's hands because he had stayed with the word. God could trust Joshua, but not the others. So it will repeat in this end day. The same problem, the same pressures. Just as God did with Joshua, he placed the full leadership in the hands of his angel prophet, William Marion Brain, for he knew he could trust them, but not the others. There had to be one voice, one leader, one final word, then and now. I love how the prophet told us there will be thousands times thousands that will hear the tapes. He said that the tapes are a ministry. There will be some of us to slip into homes and churches with a tape. His ministry to catch God's predestinated seed. When we turned back and said, Lord, we have obeyed your orders, and there were people we found when we played the tapes that believed. Now, we have preached that around the world. Will you honor it? He will say, that is what I sent you to do. God will honor it. Your house will never shake down. When God gives the signal to destroy the whole thing, all of your family, all of your possession will be safe in your house. You can stand there. You didn't have to look out the window. Just press play while the battle is going on. Thy words were found and I did eat them. And thy word was unto me the joy and rejoicing of my heart. For I am called by thy name, O Lord God. God of host. I invite you to come join us as we eat God's great live end time ministry this Sunday at 12 p.m. Jeffersonville time as we hear all about Satan's Eden 65-0829. May we live till the coming of the Lord. If it be possible, May we do everything that's in our power with love and understanding. Understanding that God is searching the world today, finding every lost sheep. And may we talk to them with seasoned prayer of love and the word of God that we might find that last one. So we can go home and get out of this old Eden of Satan here. Brother Joseph Branham. Scriptures to read before hearing the message. 2 Timothy chapter 3 verses 1 through 9. Revelation chapter 3 verse 14. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verses 1 through 4. Isaiah chapter 14 and verses 12 through 14. And Matthew chapter 24 verse 24. This concludes the letter, and until next time, God bless you, and shalom. www.branhamtabernacle.org and www.svfellowship.info.com